<laughs> you do. Making, you know what I mean? I'm like, oof, that voice is a little too it's easy. too much. It's too easy. I make. So wait till you see Michael Lerner come out like a fucking seal on his last day. 1320. And Jeremiah and Michael Lerner are actually enemies. This is how you know Jeremiah fucking rules. He gets in these tiffs with the Kill Tony Tards. So him and Mike Lerner have a secret, creepy, childlike, kids-like, gross tiff. And we're going to learn that Jeremiah Wonders actually treats Mike Lerner behind the scenes like really mean. So this is what, this is what crazy, Mike Lerner is this disabled MSian comedian who I can't stand, but people get He's a kick. He's a sweet guy. People get a kick out of people with disabilities doing comedy. They always have. Um, that's why I was very popular in the 90s doing comedy. Um, I had a s severe hunchback and everyone really loved me. Now, not so much. But uh, they they get a kick out of these uh, retards. and everything. Oh my God, he's trying so hard. So Michael Lerner has developed this uh, relationship with the Kill Tony gang. But there's one guy who on the side kind of treats Michael Lerner like a kid in school where he's like, oh, we found out Jeremiah has been hitting Michael Lerner. You know, they have his parents. And, Your son has actually been pinching people. Jeremiah like is the like. the retarded guy's mom thinks yeah, he has a friend, but it turns exactly. out he's just a bully. Uh, Jeremiah is kind of brought in. Uh, his parents are brought into school all the time, like the Beat Brothers from uh, that HBO show. Uh, Big Little Lies. Big Little Lies, where it's like. Hi, we brought you in today because your kids are pulling hair out of other girls and <laughs> spitting on them and pinching them. And you're like, what? <laughs> I thought my kid was great. Nope. Turns out your kid's a psycho, a secret psycho who grabs girls' skin and twists it. And no, and then when they say, oh, no, I didn't do it. He's hiding his sickness. It's even worse. Jeremiah is like that. And that's what's going on behind the scenes at Kill Tony. Michael Lerner can't say anything because no one could understand it. For years, they've been like, and they're like, ha ha, Michael Lerner just doing his bit. He's been trying to tell people about <laughs> Jeremiah secretly picking on him. And that's like having sex with a retard like Kurt Cobain did. It's sick. It's like a sickness where it's like, who's going to listen to the retard? I could torment them. So Jeremiah, like secretly, they're all eating lunch and he goes like this and he starts twisting his skin and says, oh! And he's like, oh, Michael Lerner just doing his retard moans. <laughs> Who knows about it? Yes, I'm getting off on the hurt. That's like really crazy. So that's who we're looking at here. Michael Lerner is finally going to confront him live on stage. You guys ready for retard wars? This is not fake. It's real. What time? 1320. Watch this. On a new audition... And I don't want to take a man as... Yeah, we need to talk about Jeremiah, someone says. He's a sicko. He burns people. He, like, lights a match and then goes... Tss, and then the teacher... His guys... Oh! The teacher goes, what's going on? And, and Jeremiah goes, I don't know, Miss Johnson. He just keeps distracting me. Oh, Jeremiah, thank you for telling us what's wrong. And then that kid gets hauled off to detention. Jeremiah's like a sick fucking guy like that, man. So let's see. Michael Lerner finally going to spill the beans. But may I practice I'd, one of... I'd love to see this audition. All right. Now, um, Jeremiah's not here. This guy, Luke. But he's Bantam. a fucking asshole. <gasps> yeah. Right? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So Michael Lerner shows up. Jeremiah. <laughs> that means Jeremiah's here and he's a fucking asshole. Now... <laughs> The Kill Tony gang knows that Jeremiah is a secret re-ass. Everyone knows, but you can't pin it on them usually because it happens behind the scenes. But they are all, they know, they know he's sick. They know he, he's dangerous. So watch this. I'd love to see this audition. All right. Now, um, Jeremiah's not here, but he's a fucking asshole, yeah. right? Yeah. Me and him are, like, there's some thespian Highlander shit going on. Because I messaged him. and I He's going to talk about how he messaged Jeremiah. And look at Jeremiah's guilty little face. <laughs> he can't even hide it behind his character. 
tonight. Look at, he knows the walls are closing in. He is going to drink a lot of cream tonight to get over the. That's Jeremiah's drink of choice, by the way. Heavy cream. When he go, he rushes home and he drinks cream in the hot car to get out of his pain. So uh, he knows something's cooking and they're all smiling. Oh, yeah? What did Jeremiah do? We know he does stuff. Did he finally get to you? Let's see. Hey, man. Can I borrow a wig? Oh. And he said, fuck you. Yeah, absolutely. Wanted, Are you he, kidding me? This he, fucking Have you ever guy? seen his, like, wig holder? He okay. keeps him. Hey, what's happening? I asked him if I could borrow a wig, wig. And he... And then they cut him off, but they all seem to understand. Oh, you asked him to borrow something. Oh, yeah, we're right there with you. We know how he's like. Just like a kid. Did you ever meet a kid in class? He wouldn't share his toys. That's exactly everything. what we've always said about Jeremiah. Yes. Like on his podcast where he has to be in control of the yes. game. And if everyone's not listening to his game that he planned, he gets all bitchy. Please leave He's all lover codes came in. Kid. He's a possessive little rat and that <laughs> should have died off in eighth grade. He's still living the life. Look at that fucking mongrel. So watch this. Michael Lerner calls up. He wants to do a performance. He goes, can I borrow a wig? What does Jeremiah do? Let's find out. Okay. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? This fucking Have you ever guy? seen his like wig holder? He keeps them like all labeled. And- I know. Yeah. It was, I mean, Jeremiah is the kindest soul, but the devil came out of him when I asked for a wig. Oh, yeah. The devil came out of him when I asked for a wig. And they all understand. No one's perplexed. Oh, yeah, that's him. Oh, it is? He's that sick? He's so spoiled. What spoiled cream? So let's dig in deeper. Yeah, for sure. You should go on the road with him sometime. It's incredible. I've heard. So instead, oh, you should go on the road with him. It's incredible. And then he goes, "I've heard," and they all laugh. And Jeremiah gets even more vindictive. You know, if this isn't, you know, that how what makes somebody cut other kids and hurt animals? He's got that same vibe going. Look at that face. I'm gonna cut you while you sleep for this as revenge. When you're asleep, I'm gonna make a small slice. On your arm. And your mom will wonder where it came from. And I'll do this every third Wednesday. Like the telltale heart. I'll come into your room and give you a cut. Isn't that creepy? Imagine a guy doing that to you. And you're none the wiser. Because you wouldn't assume an adult, an adult would do that. That's what he's doing. This is chilling. Let's hear more. <laughs> Instead of wig, I have a hat, you fucking fuck. <laughs> so he goes, I'm going to wear a hat instead of a wig, you fucking fuck. And Maya is still sitting over there. He can't move. He's frozen in uh, trying to figure out what to do about this exposure who needs to die. Let's hear more. <laughs> yeah, we got time. Absolutely. The good so son. in place of a wig, it appears as though Michael's wearing just a hat. <laughs> so we're going to have to uh, use our imagination. So what kind of wig? Kind of what would the wig look here. like? Okay, so now, they like move 20 on. 20 minutes passes. Yeah, well, this is important. So they move on, but guess who doesn't move on in their own head? Done, done, done. Jeremiah Dahmer, the most evil, sinister sex man on the scene. 20 minutes goes by. Everyone has forgotten about the wig thing. Jeremiah is still thinking about this because he's repulsed that somebody would dare (laughs) try to out him, not on his stage. So here, you can see they've moved on. Jeremiah would have let you borrow a wig. A lady. Oh, Oh, a women's wig? Yeah, I'm a lady. All right, so we... I'm doing an impression of a lady. Okay. All I needed was a lady wig, you monster. (laughs) Uh Oh, wait, there's more. (laughs) May I work on my audition? What do you know? 
Hey, Tony, can I, can I say... Okay, uh, so this is weird. So we've gone 27 minutes into the future. And Jeremiah finally has a chance to speak, and he's going to bring something up. You know, he's playing a song. Look how maniacal he looks blowing into that sax. As if it's his last <laughs> possible... Look at that. Jeez. I mean, really? That's the type of guy who cuts. So, uh, very scary... He's playing a song, and then look what he does. What do you know? I hate Tony, too. Thank hey, you. Tony, can I, can I say, uh, I just got a text from Jeremiah, and he... Uh, hey, he's talking about, so he's in character, you see. So he's going, I just got a text from Jeremiah. He is Jeremiah, though, so don't get confused. Do, do, do. What do you know? Hey, Tony, can I, can I say, uh, I just got a text from Jeremiah, and he uh, he read the DMs between Michael and Jeremiah, and and, uh, and Jeremiah definitely said that he could help him out if he needed that. So, um, oh, Jeremiah defensive with the proof, but do you really want proof from some psycho looking like this? I mean, I don't know if you saw this, but H3H3 H3 was haunted by Yukonaro, Gokonaro for a while. This is who's going to do you in. This thin-faced incel from hell. I mean, really, this is the face of a fucking demon. <laughs> and uh, he, out of nowhere, decides 27 minutes later, I actually have texts that prove I was not mean to Michael Lerner when he asked to borrow a wig. And I think we missed some part where Michael Lerner says, I asked you to buy a wig and you were as cold as hell. I think that's still coming. Okay. So Jeremiah is going to prove that he wasn't cold. However, Jeremiah is so cold that he doesn't even know that the stuff he says is cold. So he starts reading his own texts, which incriminate him further <laughs> into being this psycho female blowing up the phone line. Watch this fucking crepe. Yeah, oh, I'm, re I'm reading the DMs right now that he, he screenshotted and sent me. <laughs> wait. He, th that's interesting. Spencer and Jeremiah seem to have a little bit of a bond. Michael, are, are we missing something here? Okay, I think uh, we need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, yeah Michael, are you getting your phone out? Yeah. You getting Michael Lerner okay. now in the crowd rolling with the homies. Getting his phone back out. To compare text now jeremiah thinks he got him let's see what happens hey, detroit, want, get yeah. detroit capture this did, did, can that uh, light uh, swing to where michael is <laughs> yes uh, <laughs> should, yes it can there is a god you should roll this, to the mic this story has oh, less no. legs than the last two comics that mic's already huh? been disinfected is job. there a microphone on that detroit or no okay yeah put put his old mic back in there michael wheel back up again Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Kill Tony show history, this is a curtain call. Here we go. Oh, my God, did he wheel in fast <laughs> motion like a joke. Check this out. I'll, I'll scoop back. Look at Michael Lerner wheel in. This is my dream. And I'm going to, in fact, try to emulate this in a second. Watch this. Michael this is a curtain call. Wow. And oh my God. Was that sped up it's in post? <laughs> in post, they sped it up a little bit. Here, so let's it's... see if you can beat him. Okay, hold on. You gotta it's roll a race. At the exact okay. same time as him. Uh oh. So maybe go right, like five more seconds so that you can go in at okay. exactly the same time. I'm going to race Michael Lerner. We'll see who could win. I'll... Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time oh, in Kill Tony show history, this is a curtain call. An you encore won. performance what was it? Was it by Michael Lair. I won? You won. When you have a, do we have when to you do have... a slow motion to see who got Can't to the line? Let me watch the <laughs> I didn't bump anything out, did I? <laughs> who won? Because I always knew I could beat this tard. have a limited time to live. I you get to perform I as many. A win for you, Can we watch the replay? It was a tie. It was a tie. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so he's fucking fast. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't have muscular dystrophy. <laughs> so he's beaten me. That was very quick. I think Lehrer won. People are saying it's oh. Lerner. His name is Michael Lerner. 
Very close, man. That was. Uh, we're gonna have to go to the. Ju- we're gonna have to send that out to be uh, to, uh, examined by a specialist. Okay, let's see. He's zooming back in on the scene. He's fucking fast. I never said I was faster than him. I just wanted to see <laughs> him winning by all means. Take it here. Wow, an encore <laughs> performance by Michael Lair. When you have a when you have a limited <laughs> time. Stupid. To live, you get to perform as many times as you want on Kill Tony during an episode. So, no, I, I know you wrote something long and cold. Whoa. So, Jeremiah thinks he's got this. He's like, I will prove that I was not mean to Michael Lerner. And then Michael Lerner wheels back up with great speed and he goes, I know you wrote something long and cold. Meaning, I can't remember what you wrote, but if you have the text, I know you wrote something long and cold. And, uh, you better not be hiding this. I know you wrote something long and cold. It was- and, and by the way, if this just ended here, Jeremiah wrote something long and cold to a retard. Okay, well, maybe he's the guy I've said he is. Sounds just like him. Long and cold? That's his body type, folks. You Here. wrote something long and cold. It was heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Hold on. In the meantime, I talked to Jesse, and she thought it was really weird that you didn't ask her for women's wigs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jeremiah is very nervous and Jewishly spazzing out in the corner on his stool. He is nervous. Let's see some more. Do you have your own wigs? Yeah, I've got plenty of women's wigs. Yeah, I'm surprised. Does. You could ask me for Clayette women's wigs, Thurman. women's underwear. I have all these yeah, things. Yeah, he dresses Whoa. up like one every night. Tony doubling down on the S&M spasms. Look at this. Just to own me, I'll just come up with another lie about your lifestyle. <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have called me. I have wigs and women's underwear and all the like. Oh, so you're f- completely involved in s and You What do you think? You've owned us with this? I'll come up with another reason to why you're wrong in the head. <laughs> Listen to this. You could ask me for women's wigs, women's underwear. I have all these yeah, things. Yeah, he dresses up like That was one- his subject. That me, me and Bert Kreischer took that in college. Women's wig. That was our major. Women's wig. Did this at Harvard. Harvard, Nagila, Harvard, Nagila, Harvard to Harvard, everybody. Mm. Mm. Double up. Mm. 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 I like him real young and juicy. So give me that juicy. What's his name? Who's the youngest kid I know? James. James. I like him real young and juicy. So give me that juicy James. Yeah, James in trouble. Looking for a piece of my double. So you want to make a rock video? Come here, little James. You looking like a hoe? You want to be my bimbo? I keep my James like a flojo. Cute song. You know who James is? I'm not telling. I'm not telling you who my secret admirer is. Fuck. You guys know James? It's a guy I know. A guy I got a crush on. He's five. (laughs) He's this tall. I could do, I could beat him up. All right, uh, let's go back here. Jeremiah, we're going to read these creepy texts. Look at this. Guys, you could ask me for women's wigs, women's underwear. I have all these yeah, things. Yeah, he dresses up like one every night. That's right. That's what I was Someone implying. in the chat just goes, it's Lewis's son. <laughs> Wait, it's Lewis's <laughs> son. Good. You guessed it. <laughs> hey, you guessed it. It is Lewis's son, James. <laughs> Not of age, very young. Do something about it, the internet. All right, here we go. It's uh, Tony Hinchcliffe and his friends. And remember, Jeremiah has just been outed for being the devil. The devil that we knew him to be. You know, By the joke I just made. <laughs> I know. All of you say this, none of you have been helpful to me. What the fuck are you talking about? Ooh, none of you have been helpful. That's none of you have been helpful to me. Thank you. And the Kill Tony gang is starting to go, oh yeah, you fucking retard. How helpful should we be? 
What do you want from us, you spaz? We're not helping anybody else, but because you wheel up in a Dementos chair, we're supposed to all bow on your arrival? Fuck off! So they're getting a little pissed at this tart, you know, because this tart is used to everybody. Oh, help me, help me, help me. I messed up. Help me, help me, help me. I'm not good enough. Help me, help me, help me. I'm just a fucking re. Help me, help me, help me. I would drown at sea. <laughs> That's what he's used to. And the Kill Tony gang is starting to go, enough with your demands, you fucking legless chap. <laughs> Listen to this. Just made. <laughs> I know. All of you say this. None of you have been helpful to me. What the fuck are you talking about? And anything. <laughs> oh, is that true? Bands, I dude. do everything on my own. I do everything on my own as if he's supposed to get a boost from the Kill Tony gang. I even think they're going, you know what? You're taking advantage, learner. You're overstepping your boundaries. You're overrolling. So, and Red Band was the first to speak out. Tickle the fuck out of you. No way. My. Ten. Now he said, Mo we my. Which is just a fool's call. My, you don't have what you send me. I, yeah. Okay, so I, now he's going, Jeremiah, do you have what you send me? People go, thank you, Mike, for translating this. Well, it cost me a great deal of money. I had to send this to the Rosetta Stone people. The official translation CC group of America. <laughs> They do the official translation. They go, what do you got? Mexican, Spick, fucking Norwegian. I go, no, 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 guys. I know this is going to cost me a fortune. You know how much this cost me to translate? $78. Here we go. Uh, Jeremiah screenshotted uh, the DM and What does sent it, it say? Me. Do you want me to read it, Michael? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ooh, this is quite the standoff here. Yes, it is. <laughs> There's a part of me that, that thinks... I mean, this is a tough one because I, I, I have a, I, 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 I think Jeremiah is telling the truth. I have a feeling that Jeremiah may have wanted to help you on this one, but now oh. you're getting called on your bluff. But at the same time, I could also see Jeremiah not want to share wigs with you. Wow. He's very. About your characters. Because Jeremiah has been quoted as saying only black lives matter. So right. Whoa, now they're making fun of him. So this is what's great. They start making fun of him. Remember Jeremiah put out a thing where he goes, black lives matter. Thank you. And then he bowed. And he also had that love song that he made to his <laughs> wife that I played last week. So they make fun of Jeremiah behind the scenes. It's about to come out. Look at this. Because Jeremiah has been quoted as saying only black lives matter. So. Right. I'll paraphrase black it. lives matter. There you go. You and just... then they play it as a drop. He doesn't like that. He don't like that. That's George Floyd's mantra. <laughs> black lives matter. Well, apparently, no. Let's ask George Floyd how much they matter as he decays to our ground. So they play that, and Jeremiah goes, oh, okay, I'm pretty much getting picked on. I better come through with some rich texts. Let's see what happens. Jeremiah, I'll paraphrase. <laughs> You're, paraphr <laughs> You're not allowed to paraphrase. Then you read it. Okay. Oh, from my paraphrase. This is my favorite part of the last... 15 episodes wow. of the show, by the <laughs> Me too. Same, Tony. Now you see what we're getting at here. We've been trying to tell you. Yeah. It's the hot... You know, what? It, when it's about you, it's not your favorite part. When it's about them, we agree, don't we, Tony? We have more in common than maybe you know, me and you. Maybe we go down to Joe Restaurant and sort out our uh, calamari over an order of calamari. What are you saying? I'm going to burn your dad's restaurant to the ground! Wait, that's a little too far. <laughs> I'm not. It's all just uh, jokes that I learned from the roast master himself. It's just a roast. Get it burned to the ground, a roast. Okay, here we are. Do you want me you to read said, word for word? No, <laughs> yeah. I'd... Go ahead. Just start. I'd... Just, just, just Watch the part this. we want to know. Okay. Michael DM Jeremiah and said, you the wig slash beard master if I ever need to borrow? Uh -oh. Question mark. 
Jeremiah said, I usually don't lend stuff out because I have them organized for specific characters, <laughs> but <laughs> if you're in need of something specific, I can probably help. That Whoa. is hard. Oh, burn. I usually don't lend stuff out because it's it's party shitty. I mean, he spent <laughs> like 35 bucks on eight wigs and he won't lend it out. Everybody knows that that means, oh, uh, okay, don't worry about that it. That it would ben. be a huge bother yes, look at to disturb this. your order. What a fucking asshole. Michael DM Jeremiah and said, you the wig slash beard master if I ever need to borrow? Question mark. Jeremiah said, I usually don't lend stuff out because I have them organized for specific characters, oh, well, there but <laughs> if you're in need of something specific, I can probably help. That is heartless and cold. See? That's basically like, you can go fuck yourself, be a professional, and get your own wig. I feel you, bro, especially in the age of corona. Respect. I'm straight. Now you're calling me out like a bitch on the show. Whoa! Let's go. See, Jeremiah is... Hiding behind a character as well, you know. Respect, I'm straight. Now you're calling me out like a bitch on the show. <laughs> Let's go, Lair, right now, right here. Thespians do not stage, bitch. Wow, you guys should have a fist fight. Yes, I got yes, my please. Michael Lair. Slap off. <laughs> oh, Look man. how, Look here's the problem. Look how fast I can punch. For real. Let's see it. That's just, this is like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Very funny. Michael Lair, I love you. I'd like to push you into a pit of flames and watch you decay. Michael Lair and uh, Jeremiah Wonders, of course, two psychos on my desktop. How fun. How enriching. Isn't that great that you watch that for about two and a half hours here? <laughs> at Red Bar, isn't that something? Let's get the hell out of here. All right, Michael Lair, we're coming for you. Jeremiah, watch your back. It's all happening. Red Bar continues now. Would you like to hear about Bill Burr? Yes. Would you like to finally hear my secrets about Bill Burr? Love okay. that guy. 